Hello there, I am John Glo with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we got here to Route 113, and we went through the Fiery Path and up through there, but now we landed up right here in the middle of Route 113. This is the Ashy route where you can collect ashes uh, from the volcano and stuff, and turn them in for fruits. But first, if you talk to this guy, he'll say, oh, like, Huff Puff, Huff Puff, I'll give you a glass, or no, a suitcase, yeah. And you collect suit, uh, you collect ashes. And it's automatic when you step into this own, this one area. It only works in this area because this is the only area with volcano ashes. So again, you can get like blue fruit, which heals so, uh, sweep like a poker fruit back in first generation. Yellow fruit heals confusion, and red fruit heals infatuation, like attract uh, stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that on my own time though. When and I, I need more repels anyway, but I'm gonna go into some battles. So yeah. Yeah, this guy is another ninja boy. He was hiding under that big pile of dust or something. I don't, I don't know how he was able to breathe or anything like that, but... You know, Pokemon logic in the Pokemon world is like, what the heck, man? But it's like, whatever. Let's start our new move, Takedown. Takedown attack. Boom. And since I have Rock Head as my ability for my Aeron, it doesn't... If I can have record damage, which is really nice, actually. I'll show it to you in a second after this battle, just to make sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, because it's working right now. Take down that thing. Take down that coffin. This doesn't affect me, huh, because I'm still type. Nice. The poison type move, of course. So there we go. Yeah. Another coughing. Three coughings on this one team. That's nice. That's a lot of coughing if you know what I mean. Ha 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 ha. Bad joke. Oh, okay, that won't hurt me too much because I'm four times resistant to normal type moves. Because I'm steel and rock type, which is very nice. Thanks for the $2.04. I really appreciate it. Another Pokemon adventure. Okay, of course. Just gonna really call me, interrupting me in mid sentence in my Pokemon videos. And if I go back to my uh, night, yeah, Rockhead prevents worker damage, which is really good because I have to take down. That's why I wanted one with a Rockhead ability. Do I have a Pell on? I'm not sure if I have a Pell on. Yeah, I have a Pell on still. Nice. So I think this might be the second to last, or last battle of this. Of this route which is that youngster back there but I want to pick up this TM32 which is double team I won't use it I mean it's just good to have I guess so yeah let's just take on this last battle again I'll collect I want to try to collect the blue fruit the yellow fruit and the red fruit which is going to take a lot of volcano ashes to do but I'm going to do the off screen Aaron versus Aaron with the, the background it's all grass it's not like gray and stuff or brown it's like what the heck man let's up attack don't be smart and use what's up against me. I lowered its accuracy too, so hopefully it won't hit it if it tries to do that. Haha. <laughs> what's up again? There we go, that's all she wrote. My Aaron's obviously superior. Thanks for the $3.04, man. I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, no, battle. Okay, we have a double battle here. I did that right, so we'll have a double battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think we got like a, uh, bird keeper and, yeah, bird keeper and a picnicker. Yeah. Meryl and Skarmu. Ooh. Skarmu's gonna be hard to take down, but we'll see what happens. Um... I choose takedown on the Meryl, and I guess we can use Mach Punch on the Skarmory, it'll be neutral effective, because it's quite flying too. There we go. Ah, so close. It's going to raise up its speed, how nice. And it's going to destroy a combo. Well, well uh, that, won't, that won't affect me too bad, yeah. Let's up on the marrow and mock punch on the Skarmory. It's gonna raise up its speed again. How oh, that's gonna be very speedy, I guess. So yeah, we'll see what happens. There goes the marrow. 
Uh, another Pokemon, huh? Take down on the Lombre. And... Let's just finish with the Mach Punch. There we go. Nice. Swallow, huh? Aw, oh, that's gonna be really bad against my... That's not so good for shrooms, because if it loses it's like a wing attack, it's dead. Okay, so, just take down on the tap swallow, and head brown swallow. We don't want to get rid of that swallow, that's a more threat than the lumbre is. So just thinking ahead, you know? Boom. There we go, nice. Level 26, yay! Earthquake, what? Oh yeah, because it's, it's sandy and stuff. That's gonna hurt. Super effective, okay. I was like, I was surprised when I saw Earthquake. <laughs> Headbutt and... Let's hit finish off with a mock punch. There we go, nice. That's a long double bad, but okay. Thanks for the nine dollars and twelve cents. My power for just in time, nice. Healing up. Oh yeah, while we're in the Pokemon Center healing up a Pokemon, this is actually really cool. Cause if you talk to the person at the PC, her name is Lynette, and she's like Bill kinda. She's the um creator of the PC in this generation, the third generation, I guess for at least for Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. I mean Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green were considered third gen too, but they still wanna they were mix remix of when Bill was the PC maker and stuff. Yeah. So let's just talk to her. And she wants us to visit in yeah. So, someone's PC. It's still someone's PC until you talk to her, really. Let's move Pokemon. Let's get, let's get our Blaine back. I'm gonna show you guys what Hidden Nugget is, even though you probably already know where it is, because you played this game and seen the game and all that. Alright, right in the circle right here is a Nugget. Nice. Here's the Nugget for ya. Um... Here's the person where you talk to for a heart like it's a move tutor, but he'll give you a heart scale. Yeah, I, yeah, I need a heart scale, which we'll get into later. Actually, let me see my Pokemon now. Um, wow, okay. I just switch that with that, I guess. And yeah, okay, because Blaine's only level twenty-four. Let's go to the Pokemon. Let's sell some stuff first. Um, hmm. Beginning. Okay, I'm gonna also put some stuff in my PC too, but we'll, I'll do that later, I guess, like in between videos or something. So let's go buy. 14. I have 14 great balls, I didn't know I had that many. Wait, can I buy full heals yet? Nope, I can't. I finally have escape ropes. I'm gonna buy a couple of repels. Let's see if I spent. If I just sold two nuggets that were. F for 10,000 poker dollars, I got that. But. Depends on if I want the TM or the. Do I want the TMs later on from like the game corner or do I want the foods? I think I only need one. I'll just go with the 21. I mean, I can always. I don't know. So I have to kind of think of their math wise, because I think I can still afford the TMs later on. Okay, and. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, here's. We can get TM for Dig. 
Got this person right here, the sister of the big brother. Yeah. TM20, which is dig. Nice. Okay. And if you go all the way back here, this, this the big brother's like digging a tunnel, so that's cool. He'll say like, um, he's a fossil maniac. Um, do you want a fossil? There's there's one in the uh, desert route, which we can't access yet completely. So yeah, that's I also used the um, what was it? Uh, I used the leap, the root fossil, which the root fossil gives you the leap, and the quad fossil gives you uh, the the the, the pre-evolved form of Armaldo. I can't, it starts with an A, I can't remember. I'll put his text name on screen right now. But yeah, um, yeah, this guy gives you battle. But I use the um, Leleep Pokemon in my Pokemon Omega Ruby team, and it makes a really good grass type for at least Poke I'd recommend it more in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire than in this game. But whatever you thought you go. I don't know. Okay, here's Blaine. We're gonna take on action. Blaine, fresh out of the PC. We're gonna use a double kick. Hopefully, this will faint it. No, not quite. It's gonna have like a red HP. I knew it. It has like one HP. And you got Free Vardigan on me. That's super effective, man. Okay, I'm gonna use Peck on you then. There we go, nice. Level 25, yay. There's that battle. This guy will give you TMO5 Roar. So we just talked to him, we'll give TM05. How nice. We get a lot, we're getting a lot of TMs in this part. I remember it was just, we got the TM32 double team in the B in this part, I think. I don't know. Oh, he's a double battle. Let's go. Yeah. Double battle time. I wonder what that item is there, too. I don't know. Now let's leave him. Okay, so I need a fire type, which I have Blaine. Do I have a water type or a grass type? Oh, that's awesome. Perfect combination. So I'm going to use Ember on the Nuzleaf, and then I'm going to use Mega Drain on the Barbroach. Or Barboach. <laughs> it's four times weak because it's watering ground. And there we go. Hopefully, this will feed the Nuzleaf too. There we go. Nice. That worked out perfectly. Level 26, yay. And throughout this whole, throughout this whole rest of this uh, walkthrough guide, I will not level grind at all. Except for um, before the Pokemon, of course. But other than that, I will not level grind anymore because I want to have more of a challenge. I did that. I did the no level grinding rule at all in my Pokemon Omega Ruby, uh, my Pokemon Omega Ruby run when I did um on my 3DS and stuff. But like, I because we have the experience here, like an X and Y, where it spreads out to all your Pokemon, so you don't need a level grind. I mean, you become over leveled, uh, like by the seventh gym, you'll notice it. Like I noticed it, my friends noticed it. So yeah, there we go. Uh, let's put shrooms. Um, switch it with Peter. Yeah. What's this item? Energy powder. I think that's like a full heal, kind of, but it lowers the um, happiness or whatever of Pokemon. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, it's energy power. Okay, it's like a potion. So let's move it up to. There we go. Nice. Okay, just to match it up. Uh, is there anything over here? Oh, there's a waterfall there. Nice. Challenging. I know you have water type Pokemon, but I have a fire type Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> nice. Magic carp. Magic carp. Magic carp. 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 Oh, this is a match governor's tackle, I better be careful. Double kick. There we go. Double kick again, yay. Nice. I think you have one more Pokemon, don't you? Yeah, Goldeen. And guess what move we're gonna use, guys? Double Kick! I'm very, very, you know... N not repetitive at all. <laughs> yeah. That's me! 
Okay. And there we go, nice. Okay, thanks for the $7.20, I like it. I like it, I like it. Battle time! You probably have grass-type Pokemon, don't you? Meryl, okay, you have a water-type Pokemon, never mind. I kinda saw that coming a little bit, like how you'd have a Meryl. I can see that. Double kick that thing off its feet. Hey, guess what I have a flying type move? I'm gonna peck you, Lombre. Lombre. Yeah. I'm gonna better my Pokemon pronunciations. Like, I used to call Lombre, Lombar. I don't know why. I couldn't read back then, guys. I'm just kidding. That's kind of being down on myself, you know? You know? Thanks for the $2.88. I'll appreciate it. But here's a hidden item. I think it's an Ultra Ball. Oh, vibe. Okay. I know there's a hidden item at least. So that's half right. And right in here, I don't put. I don't feel like I'm putting a pill on. There we go. I made it anyway. Okay, person berries. I think person. Yeah, picking those person berries. How nice. There we go. Got like six person berries out of that. And right here is the Wayne's house. Let's go. Pay visitor. Uh, it's here. Oh, Grotto. I'm sorry everything is so cluttered when I got engrossed in research. When I get engrossed in research, things get end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret in exchange for this. Low tad doll, which can be used for your secret base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know how to organize my Pokemon boxes. I'm not like five years old. Uh, let's have a double battle. I know Blaine and Peter will be facing this battle, so let's see what happens. Senior and Junior. Roselia and Gravoy. That's nice, actually, because I have a... Because uh, Blaine can go for the Roselia, and then Peter can go for the Gravoy. And bring that Roselia off its feet. Oh, I didn't faint it. Oh well. Not leech seed. Not leech seed. Anything but that. That's actually a shitty, shitty move there. It goes the gravel. It's four times with the water, so you know what, what to expect. Ah, uh, no. Gotta faint that was uh, quick. And there goes Rosalia. Nice. What an amazing battle style. Thank you. Six dollars and forty cents. I like it. Thanks. Here's another battle. Yeah, camping's fun. Yeah. It's winter though where I'm at. Well, it's winter when this video will be upward, I mean. Because it's... I might... My location changes within the seasons, of course. Of winter... Right now, then spring, then summer, and then fall, because we just had fall. Haha. Uh, let's use double kick. No! It's okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll take it back. Nice. Nuzleaf, okay. I can use Ember on that thing. Wait, to test if Nuzleaf is dark type. I'm gonna use double kick because it'll also be super effective. It'd be super effective. Okay, Nuzleaf is grass and dark type, but when it's the seed, it's just grass, and then when it evolves into Siftry via Leaf Stone, it becomes grass and dark. How nice. Thanks for the dollars and 88 cents, man. Okay, um. Hey guys, look! It's Pokemaniac Steve, right there. Let's battle him. I remember when Trigger Conway made a, a, a little segment on this battle, because um, he always liked to be, he was like, if he wasn't named Emil, he'd always like the name of Steve or something. That's what he said on the run of guys. I'm not exactly sure. But he just likes the name Steve. That's what I know. Juice headbutt this thing. Or not headbutt, but mudslap. Nice. So accuracy is lowered. 
Nice. See his headbutt. Gotta deal with one HP on me. And mutts up the thing and go for the kill. I mean the win. I mean faint. Haha. <laughs> I'm going crazy right now, aren't I? Haha. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Sorry, Pokemon X, Steve. I'm a Pokemon. Thanks for the eleven dollars and forty cents. Though. That's really generous of you to give me that much. And is okay. This is one Pokemon app entry I love to hear whenever he comes on to fight. Oh, okay. Okay. Speaking of Pokemon entries, here's one. Okay. Wait. I think there's an item back there. Dang it. Guess I should put a repel on. I mean, even though we don't have much wild grass left, but okay. Here we go. Okay. Here's a car, boys. What's up here? Why, why would they have a staircase right here if there's nothing here? That's odd. That's misleading, too. This guy's a fire guy. No, he's a fire bender, guys. Haha. <laughs> Firebender in the house! Take down that thing. Take down that slugma. Or slugma. I, I say slugma, but it's slugma. It's just slugma, Steven. Gosh. Wingle. Again, take out down that wingle with another takedown. Take down using takedown. Gonna lower my attack, okay. If he's a firebender, why does he have water type Pokemon? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, that's something to think about. Thanks for those fire, you're welcome. Thanks for, for the five dollars and sixty-seven cents. Or seventy-six cents, my bad. Kendaloo, you're a Kendaloo, not a firebender. Okay, so this has been my Pokemon Emerald Walk through part and next part we'll take on the rest of this mountain and hopefully get to Meteor Falls, yes, and get past Meteor Falls. So this has been Jonko again, I would like to mention again, goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.